Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I'm really excited to be talking today because I have access to the Tesla Powerwall 3 here at Pacific Sun Technologies and we are going to be accepting pre-orders for this revolutionary product that Tesla is bringing to the market here in the state of California. I'm really excited about this product. I did a live training webinar on the Tesla Powerwall 3. So you were able to learn about it at the same time I was learning about it. And it's a phenomenal solution for us under the new solar building program because under California's new metering program, you need to have a battery to maximize your return on investment with your solar system. The utility grid doesn't want your excess solar energy anymore. They don't wanna pay you for it and that's fine. So I wanted to do a full product comparison against Enphase 5P batteries, Enphase microinverters, Franklin utilizing Enphase microinverters because the Franklin battery is AC coupled. Obviously, we want to compare it against the Powerwall 2. Tesla's not getting rid of the Powerwall 2. We're also going to include pricing on the Schneider home so that way you can compare the Tesla solution to Schneider's because they both have some unique approaches going on there. And then Solar Edge, we definitely got to compare against Solar Edge. Powerwall Plus is in the comparison and the Canadian Solar EP Cube. So I'm really excited for this solution to be able to be taking it and accepting pre-orders of the product. We do have six available now. So if you're interested in getting a Powerwall 3, use the link down in the description below or up on the screen and you can gain access to this product and we can build you a system on your home utilizing open solar software platform. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's look at the technology and, and what's going to really stand out in terms of the Powerwall 3 over our competitor solutions that we've been offering for quite some time. Trust me, I'm a big fan of Enphase. I like microinverters, but I know batteries are a very important part moving forward. And at some point, you got to go, what's better for my home? Do I want to get the best return on investment? Do I want a good system that's going to save me as much money as possible? Because Tesla has pretty much stated that any customer that gets a Powerwall 3 will likely see a return on investment in under five years. You heard that correct. Under five years. And that's not utilizing their virtual power plant network that they are also deploying. So if you get a Powerwall 3, you're not only getting in a phenomenal solution that's cost effective, but it's also being networked with Tesla. So that way you can share power with other Powerwall users and monetize that and make money, which improves your return on investment. Those are things other manufacturers are starting to develop, but they haven't gotten there. Tesla's already got a system in place. So this is a big advantage for any of you that live in our area of Southern California and you're interested in finally making the switch to clean renewable energy and getting whole home backup. I think that's what's so crazy here. So let me show you the slide and explain why I'm so excited for this. So here we go. What do we have going on here? Well, this is our full chart of comparison. We got a lot of batteries that I have to compare and I had to narrow it down to just focus on what's important at the end of the day. So I got the Powerwall 3 up here. This is a DC coupled system. It's important to note the pricing shown is an estimate and it's going to be designed around an 8.5 kilowatt solar system. And we're actually using our top of the line REC modules. These are the REC Alpha Pure Black modules. You can go with other modules. We have Canadian Solar 400s, soon to have the Canadian Solar 445s that are manufactured in Texas that are supposed to be more economical. So the pricing you're seeing could easily be less than that, depending on what panel you select. But I wanted to give you realistic numbers. So here we have an, a Powerwall 3 with a hybrid inverter that's integrated with the battery. That's one of its unique features. So that's 11.5 kilowatts of inverter rating. That's power for your home. And that rating carries over to the battery. It's the same rating, whether it's for the battery discharging or for the solar to power the home. You always have 11.5 kilowatts available to you, which is why Tesla is advertising this and promoting it as whole home backup because it can literally do it. It can power a five ton air conditioner. That's huge right? This is under $32,000 before a state rebate, before any incentives. You get whole home backup, 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage capacity. You can expand on that system later. You don't have to do it right now. You're looking at a total incentive of $11,000 out the door cost of $20,000. That's $8,000 less than an Enphase system using 
again, same modules, REC, Alpha Pure Blacks, 405s, so it's an 8.5 kilowatt system, IQ8Ms. So with the IQ8Ms, yes, the microinverters are grid forming, right? So the solar can power the home during a grid outage, sure, but you only have 6.8 kilowatts available to you. Tesla's giving you double that. Now the power output of the batteries with the in-phase system that I designed here, this is a 15 kilowatt hour configuration. So even if you went with 10 kilowatt hours, it's still cheaper with the Powerwall 3. Significantly cheaper, not a little bit cheaper, but significantly cheaper. But I wanted to show it with 15 kilowatt hours of storage, which I'm showing right here. It's comparable power capabilities for whole home backup. And that's what Enphase also advertises is, hey, if you have three 5Ps, you for sure can power your whole home. Now that's a big difference, 43,000 to 32, under 32 for your out the door costs, right? And you have your rebates, you have your tax credits, and you still end up at $28,000 on a net cost. Well, let's look at Franklin. Well, Franklin's a little cheaper than Enphase in terms of utilizing them for the battery. The, you still have to use Enphase microinverters, but look at what happens here. That power output of the system is now essentials. You can't do whole home backup with one Franklin battery. You can do that with a Powerwall 3 because it has the capabilities of surging that high and providing large amounts of continuous power. Nobody's providing this much continuous power besides Tesla now. So you're looking at just under $40,000 as your purchase price, 26 on your net. Let's keep going. Let's compare it to a Powerwall 2 configuration. This has been very popular. You still get your N-phase microinverters right up on the roof, but look at the Powerwall 2 had a throttle cap. So with one Powerwall 2, it could only provide five kilowatts of power. So that's essentials. You're not backing up the whole home. You don't get that five ton air conditioner, that six man above ground spa. You, you gotta only focus on the lights and outlets. So sure it's the same storage. Sure you have the solar here, but they don't get to work together because they're not integrated together. So yeah, it's a little bit cheaper, but it's not as cheap as a Powerwall 3. They've literally reduced so many parts and components as well as installation process that allows us to extend even greater discounts to you because we have less work we have to do with the product which is saving you money you don't you don't need an emergency loads panel anymore you don't need an automatic transfer switch that's standalone tesla's invented a meter caller i wouldn't say invented it they're deploying an automatic transfer switch that's a meter collar that goes behind your utility meter. So when the grid power outage happens, that utility meter separates from the grid and the Powerwall 3 then is able to just power the loads existing in your main service panel. It's a phenomenal thing that saves a ton of time and labor and materials and cost. And we're passing that directly on to you. So let's look at Schneider because this is a product I've been pretty excited about to be able to offer. So Schneider is just under 38,000. And is it whole home backup? Well, kind of. So Schneider, this includes their pulse panel for the upgrade. So this would be a main electrical panel upgrade. That's kind of why I was mentioning the meter because this is a smart upgrade. You only have 10 kilowatt hours of storage in this configuration. And it's smart because you, you have smart circuits in your electrical panel. So you have to incur the cost of this new smart panel, which is good. You get all this extra, these little features, but for those of you that just don't care about all these little smart circuits, that's not gonna be a big of value to you as it is with the Powerwall 3, just being able to be there and power the whole home with no extra equipment on the wall. So what's compared to SolarEdge? Cause that's another DC coupled. So Schneider was a DC coupled system. SolarEdge is a DC coupled system. And look at that, Powerwall 3 is still $6,000 cheaper than SolarEdge. Sure, you don't have module level optimization, but SolarEdge isn't able to provide you with whole home backup, even utilizing their 11.4 kilowatt solar inverter. So I still utilize SolarEdge's inverter, but they throttle the battery. So the battery can only provide five kilowatts. That's essential. If you want more, you need a second battery, which is gonna push the price and create a bigger gap between what the Powerwall 3 can do for you. Now the Powerwall 3 was kind of, had a stepping stone before they reached this. And that was the Powerwall Plus, which was their, that was the Tesla solar inverter. So you still didn't have module level monitoring, but it was 
tied closely with that Powerwall 2 configuration. So when it's tied to that Powerwall 2, you did get a little bit more power capabilities during the day. You could get the full 7.6 kilowatts of the inverter during the day, but in the evenings, you would only get five kilowatts from that battery. So you, you were restricted in that. So you could only do essentials backup with a Powerwall Plus, but it wasn't affordable enough. Tesla wanted to make a solution that was affordable for everyone. And that's what the Powerwall 3 is achieving. Now, Canadian Solar, the EP Cube has been very popular with us. As you can see, it's right in line with the Powerwall Plus, but with their matching configuration, if we do 13.3 kilowatt hours of storage, so we're stuck at essentials still. We're not getting whole home backup with this, and it's $35,000. Here we are with the Tesla, $4,000 cheaper on the Powerwall 3 compared to its closest competitor, and it's able to provide you with whole home backup. There is no other product on the market that can be at this price point and give you whole home backup in an economical sense. This is our cash price that I'm showing you. So if you're someone that's in the industry and you're wanting to be able to offer this to your customer, we're a Tesla certified partner. Reach out to us. We have a great onboarding program so you can offer the Powerwall 3 to your customers. You know, we want to help as many of those out there make the switch to clean, renewable energy. It's going to take all of us working together to achieve that. I want your business. I want to help you make the switch to clean, renewable energy and see the value of having a solar plus storage system with whole home backup. We were looking at systems where we wouldn't be able to do the backup to try and bring down the cost. Tesla literally just solve the problem with the meter collar attachment so you don't need to worry about all this extra equipment and you're able to just pass the savings directly on to you, the end owner of this site. So looking at ROIs easily of under five years with this type of investment. I mean, look at $20,000. Let's just do some basic math. If you're spending $3,000 a year, that'd be about $250 a month on average with your utility company. You know, that's right there, six years, seven years without factoring in utility rate increase. That is, they keep increasing the rates of electricity. So when you factor that in at a 4%, rate of utility increase, you're gonna end up under five years easily with the Tesla Powerwall 3, whereas everybody else is seven, eight, 10 years to get you whole home backup and have a robust solution to save you money over that period. So I'm really excited about this product and I'm really anxious to see what you have to think about it. So be sure to subscribe to the channel by using the link down in the description below and request your quote from us. We have Powerwall three units available for pre-order. We're looking right now at a five week lead time. So this, this lead time's only gonna grow, right? So I have units available now. We can easily get them installed in less than 60 days if you make the switch to clean renewable energy with Pacific Sun Technology. So use that link down in the description below. And don't forget, if you're someone that lives in our area and you're interested in being able to sell solar to your friends and families, we have a great onboarding program um, that you can go and reach out to us by using the email address in the description below. And we can get you set up to be able to offer your friends and family the Powerwall 3 at a, at a pretty great price. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.